white America right now spending $30 million a day in Asia. Black and white boys are dying unjustly for nothing just to free somebody else. So why should I worry about going to little old jail to free my poor people who's been catching hell here for 400 years? Welcome to Love Black Culture, and this week in Black History, one of the greatest champions ever refused to be inducted into the U.S. Army and made personal sacrifices in many ways to stand up for what he believed in. Before we get started, thank you for watching. If you love Black Culture, remember to subscribe and like the channel. Also, check out our t-shirt shop and our Patreon page if you want to support the movement. Now, let's begin. On April 28, 1967, boxing legend and champion Muhammad Ali refused to be inducted into the U.S. Army. When he was asked why he refused to be enlisted into the armed forces, he said, I ain't got no quarrel with those Viet Cong. Ali was not the only one to have this sentiment as the war was massively unpopular in the United States. The decision caused the champ a lot of issues as he was stripped of his boxing championship belts, banned from the sport of boxing for three years, and was sentenced to jail for five years. Though he did not end up in jail, his boxing career took a major hit. However, many Americans viewed him as a hero for standing up to the U.S. government attempting to force him to kill other people against his will. Of this, Ali stated, My conscience won't let me go shoot my brother or some darker people or some poor hungry people in the mud for big powerful America. And shoot them for what? They never called me a nigger. They never lynched me. They didn't put no dogs on me. They didn't rob me of my nationality, rape and kill my mother and father. Shoot them for what? How can I shoot them poor people? Just take me to jail. Many other athletes and activists praised Ali's decision to become a conscientious objector to the Vietnam War. Some athletes who stood with Ali were basketball great Bill Russell and football legend Jim Brown. The Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. also praised Ali. After the Supreme Court overturned Ali's conviction, he would go on to once again become the heavyweight champion of the world, which at the time may have been the most popular position an athlete could claim, showing that if you stick to what you believe in, things are going to work out. To recap, this week, the heavyweight champion of the world took a stand against the U.S. government in the Vietnam draft. Even though at the time the decision put Ali's livelihood and freedom in danger, history will look back on his decision kindly and hold him up as a model for those who want to fight for their beliefs and rights. If you'd like to learn more about Muhammad Ali and his decision to forego being drafted into the war, please check out the description below. Thanks for watching. If you learned something from this video, please remember to subscribe and to like the video. Also, check out our t-shirt shop and our Patreon page if you want to help the movement grow. Thanks, and talk to you next time.